What's going on, Coach Ron Frogman Basketball? I just want to talk to some guards about two situations. Um, number one, about bringing the ball up under pressure. And number two, how to properly run a fast break. Number one. In uh, his rookie year, he won rookie of the year at CBA. If you have pressure here, you want to try to get the ball possibly into your dominant hand. Or what you can do is when the all try to use the trailer, the guy that's coming up as a pick. Right? So maybe he doesn't know that he's trying to use him as a trailer. I'll start game. And he goes away. So now he's stuck with the ball into this left hand. However, what you want to do is exactly what he's doing. You're going to put the ball, you're going to turn your body sideways, put a hand out to block this guy from reaching, MVP. and try to just go around him. That is all you want to do. Just go around him. Now, this position here is key for guards. You want to be able to dribble the ball with your body turned to a 45 degree angle, a quarter turn with your head forward, seeing the floor, protecting the ball with your hand up. And he won the CB into his body. And then after you push it into his body, what you wanna do is you wanna keep that hand up to protect the ball. And then you're gonna just extend the hand just a little bit to clear and give yourself room and come to a full stop. That's going to make the defender run. And the, the defender does not know when you're going to stop. So this is what happens. Yeah, slam. It creates the room. Once that happens, your other guards or whoever this play is supposed to be for should be getting open right now. If not, then you have an issue. Dunk contest with his rookie season. So this, this is his first. From there, you, you know, either can call the play again or try to run it for yourself. And it's the same thing. Get into his body. Shot. Right. At the NBA. Find the open. Yeah, okay. John, he's he's looking to try to make some That's waves, and he's gotten a lot of attention. The Suns PR told me they've had. We're gonna go over another situation, which is the fast. Break. More requests for him than any other player on the team, because the China faithful, um, you know, was very excited about his potential here. Oh, yeah. uh, so shot is up, right? A good guard will try to advance the ball. This man here should be getting the ball at this point in time. Why? Because they have one, two, three, four back. Their man is somewhere here in the middle. He wants the this guard here should be advancing the ball to this man right away, but he doesn't. At summer league basketball. He still has this opportunity to advance the ball. As you notice, these two players, their heads are turned there because that's where the ball should be going. Maybe he took two dribbles. His head should be up now and should be seeing it. And in fact, they have two, three, four, five. All their guys are back. This man has a clean angle to the basket. A good guard needs to pass that ball up ahead. Coaches are looking at stuff like this. Do you keep the ball and dribble it all the way up or do you pass it? Now, if he was a slick guard, everybody expect the ball to come here. Their heads are turned. That leaves this man wide open. You can fake that pass and make them commit and then send it here. Let's see what he does. Such an international. Still no opportunity to pass the ball. He has passed the half court. At minimum, this is kind of like your one of your last opportunity for them to try to get a fast break layup. Now they're kind of back still. Um, and now he's thinking about his own shot. So, you know, situations like this, these might be guards that maybe they didn't maybe didn't see it open. I give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, but what I would say is uh, it could be a guard that's looking for his own shot. And sometimes people come in the game and they look for their own shot and they don't make the right play. Always make the right play. The ball should always try to advance up the court. Players will love to play with you and would allow you to get the ball back now passionate fans all around the globe including he gets stuck china and this guy here and this is something about basketball iq as a player you have to understand when players don't get the ball when they think they should they're more than likely to not pass it back and just be selfish they absolutely love the try to take it for themselves and that ha that's a common thing when when if you don't, if you're not getting the ball in the game, when you get it, you're gonna take your first shot. You're not gonna be patient versus you playing with a guard that's giving you the ball a lot and is telling you, yo, slow it down, let's slow it down, and getting the ball back from you. You're gonna play patient. So.
two things about point guards that they need to learn. Um, handling the ball under pressure. It's a great tip on how to do it. And, you know, a great feel for the fast break. You want to look to outlet the ball first before you dribble it up. And always be looking to outlet the ball. At any time, you want to make easy baskets for your teammate. You will be a guard that any coach will want to take on their team. All right. Please like and subscribe. Comment if you find comment if you found this video helpful. Follow us on Instagram at Frogman Basketball. Thank you very much.